Morning. What's the date? The ninth. The ninth of January, 2011. Proof testing the new cannon on a test carriage, and we're aiming at that little bank of snow up there on the rocks. Fire in the hole! In perfect line, you can see right where we at. Yeah, <laughs> not that much low. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the first test fire of this cannon. This is a test carriage. The uh, uh, this is not the real carriage. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll find out what happened to my last test carriage. That's why this one's made out of steel. The cannon is uh, uh, turn on lathe. Um, it's a uh, uh, 4.9 inch bore, uh, or I should say the finished bore will be 4.9. It's 4.8 right now, and it's going to get honed, I believe. May not ever do it. It's not that bad. Anyway, the uh, it's a beautiful barrel. You can see there was absolutely no effort put into the the carriage at all. It uh, the barrel has a U.S. stamp on top. Of it. Try to get the light right. Oh boy, it's difficult. It has a U.S. stamp there. It says 1841, 16 pounder, and it's stamped uh, 1085, I'm assuming that's weight. There's the rear sight base, there's the rear sight, I made the rear sight. It does have a threaded breech. I've had it out. It threads in about four inches. The, it's uh, four threads per inch. Uh, it does have a howitzer style chamber, reduced powder chamber, that uh, uh, appears to want to shoot about a pound of powder. It says, Ames Company uh, Chicopee, Massachusetts on this side. The it is kind of the configuration of a 1841 six pounder. However, it is way bigger. It's uh, 12 and 3 quarter inches on the end. On the back end, uh, um, about, oh, it's almost 9 at the end of the muzzle. Real close to 9, uh, about 9 and a half uh, where the trunnions are. It has, uh, uh, trunnions are, are, oh, I forget, but they're about 4 inches. Um, 
as a blind touch hole. And uh, anyway, that's the latest acquisition. The uh, I love big smooth bores.